Life as a trucker is an open road these days for Ashley Leva. The serenity in it is, is you know, it's, it's amazing. But it wasn't exactly the path she thought she would eventually take. No. <laughs> no. Yet being a woman in a male-dominated field comes naturally for her. Consider her last career, 15 years of military service, including two combat tours of duty in Iraq. We bake and we cook and... Army life provided this single mom of five-year-old Olivia... My tax break, baby. Um, a steady paycheck yeah. and stability. I appreciate it. You know, it taught me so much and it made me appreciate the things, the little, the little things that I have and I had. But a bump in the road, more like a crater. My mother, she got sick. Would force Ashley to shift gears, ending her military service just six months before she planned. My brother called me and said, you got to come home. You know, mom's, you know, and she's not doing good and uh, it's, you, you have to be here. Nothing could have given Ashley a heads up fast enough for the sharp turn just ahead of her. I got there at 9 p.m. My mom passed away at 12 a.m. the next day. Ashley was blindsided. She was everything to me. She provided for us. I mean, there was never uh, a time where we had we were without because she was always she was always working. Naomi Leva was so close to retiring after driving for her own trucking company for 20 years. And while cancer may have ended Naomi's road journey, it was just the start of Ashley's new career in trucking. She and her brother Johnny turned to Del Mar College. She took a class for veterans who were changing lanes to civilian life and received her commercial driver's license. She came in with a goal and she fulfilled her goal and now she's fulfilling one of her dreams for her mother. I love it. Uh, it's something that I, I will do for the rest of my life. Ashley is now behind the wheel of her mom's business. What was Leva Trucking now has a new name to honor Naomi. So, you know, like just having that name stick around is just so, it means a lot. Who inspired Ashley Ooh. to drive on. And every mile. Ashley makes down life's open road. Naomi is close by to remind her, you gotta make it through the most uncertain bumps to truly appreciate the smoothest ride. A local Navy veteran suffered a devastating blow to his military career due to what he calls racism in the ranks. Tonight, how he changed his life through the years with laughter and a renewed sense of patriotism. I love women in uniform, military, police, McDonald's. Wendell Williams has a unique way of making people laugh. I am the acronym man of comedy, meaning I like to take a word or letters that have somewhat of a negative vibe and put a positive twist on it. His act is his life personified. To get to this stage of it, Wendell first had to confront racism while serving in the Navy. One critical incident cost him his military career. Altercation came about and some- You got in a fight. I got in a fight. A fight with a superior officer who called him the N-word. Wendell admittedly handled that the wrong way. And for that, he spent two years in military prison and given a dishonorable discharge. Personally, if he hadn't have did what he did, I wouldn't have put myself in that position, but it did happen. And I have to, I, I'm here today to tell it, you know, and, and I, I really don't like to, but I like to come clean about things. You know, you can't always get what you want in life. Throughout the last 40 years, Wendell learned to accept the past. I have the four L's in life. You know, you live, learn to love life. That's how I look at it, because what has, has happened shouldn't stop me from trying to become a better person. A better person. Those seats right in there. Who also spends these days as an usher at Hook's baseball games. And on this night. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise. He's taking to another stage in life, acceptance. Oh, yeah. 
So to me, it's a wonderful feeling. It's going to bring me good, uh, a great feeling of enjoyment. Good luck. Thank you. Singing an anthem of his country. Oh, say. He fought for and came full circle to forgive. By the dawn's early light. Reflecting especially on the last 12 words. Because you fought to be free, and it is the home of the brave. You cannot take that away. For oh, the land and of the free. It doesn't get more R-E-A-L than that. And the home of the brave. He did good. Now, I connected Wendell Williams to J.J. De La Cerda, Nueces County Veteran Service Officer. J.J. will now investigate whether Wendell's dishonorable discharge can be upgraded, given the racial provocation that he suffered from during his military service way back when in the 1980s. We'll let you know what happens.